Yo! Welcome back to the channel, guys. We have us a juicy unbagging today. I went <laughs> sniffing around at DNR Sports Center and came back with a nice haul. Actually had to go back again because I had to get another color that we were freaking out about. But let's jump in this bag. Got a lot of swim baits. We got uh, some nice soft plastic that I want to show you and then some other cool baits in here. Let's hop in this bag and uh, take a look. started there for your first timer on the channel here go hit that like button subscribe to the channel do all that good stuff thank you so much for being my friends I'm gonna jump right into this and start out with some swim baits from Beast Coast Tackle I'm talking about that brand Debo's always raving about I hear all about their jigs and all about this Marauder but I picked up this swim bait here so like a six and a half inch bait I don't even know what this is called. It's a Secret IU. It's got that. Looks like a green pumpkin. I don't know, a little black stripe in it. Maybe a little clear. A little pearl there on the bottom. They're calling for an ADOT. ADOT big, big old hook. Probably going to use an owner beast hook. One of my favorite hooks to throw this. It's really slender. It's really thin. So I expected to have a tight, a tight action. Maybe a little bit of wobble in it. But... That is uh, yet to be seen. So again, this Beast Coast swim bait. Got actually a two different colors here. This one is probably my favorite, man. Take a look at that. Oh, what is this called? Pro Ghost. Look at this one. Man, take a look at both of these back to back. I feel like this is going to be a good pairing for the spring. Man, I really like this. This is heavy green pumpkin. Definitely more like a gill here. They do a really good job on the details. They got a nice set of eyes there. Actually not falling off like a lot of swim baits. There's a lot of swim baits out there that they're just falling off. And it's just driving me nuts. I don't know if you can see, but there's a little bit of... Looks like a tiny little fin there. It's kind of tiny, but got a little bit of a definition in it so that's pretty cool and then it's got a really big boot tail on the back like I guess it's a little bit stiffer so I think it's gonna have a lot tighter of an action can't wait to throw these on a big old eight-out hook big swim bay hook and then gonna see what's going on all right next this bait from chase baits right here it's called the flip-flop at first I thought it was just a straight up beaver thing <laughs> she's got that squid look on the side you can see that really paper thin oh my god extremity right there it's on the way down it's supposed to like shimmy or wiggle down like a like a squid would man got this in green I think this is green pumpkin candy just looks real good I'm really gonna think it's gonna be good on a Texas rig, I think this would be a nice look. Again, on a Texas rig, real light one. Let me throw it on some spinning gear. Carolina rig. But I just really like this. It's different and a nice little way to run a beaver. And if you just wanted to snip them off right there on, on the water, you can. It's going to be really good. Claws here, not very big. Like that. I feel like it's going to be more of a do nothing bait on the bottom. And then on the way down, it's going to have all the action. That's going to look good. Great option this year. Chase Base does a good job with their, their packaging. I'm a guy about their packaging. Kind of tells you about the bait. That's pretty cool. Let's move on to a main bait. This Duo Crank. This Apex Duo Realis. The Apex Predator. Are you kidding me? Oh, did he do it? Did he get it? And they got it all wrapped up in the band so you don't slice yourself up. Because that's sticky sharp. Ooh, man. I can just smell how sharp it is. Man, look at this. This thing is sexy. Sexy. That is correct. AM Dawn, man. 
look at that that is so good looking it's definitely translucent it's got a little bit of pink it's kind of like that mb gizzard from mega bass it's man this this is a killer looking square bill size two hooks don't even know it's a little over half an ounce but man this thing is this thing is nice i'm gonna be ripping this thing through the rocks on the river it's gonna be so good i just really like it i really liked it because of that knocker listen to that it's really deep a lot of these square bars are either silent or really high knocker and man i like that i like a I like a deep knocker what is this who's who's repping these aaron aaron martin man yep it's a money bait right there i am stoked to throw this so so excited for this year all right guys another one that i was excited to pick up we got the smuggler look at this bird man i am just a freak about baits and these this thing is nuts oh man if you want to see this bait drop a comment answer me well, this thing is going to be a riot to throw i think we'll be targeting some pike that type of day for sure man they really do not want you in this box because it's so locked up all right all right, now that we're inside, let's pop this baby out. Oh my God. This thing is about to be crazy. Oh, you got a little feather on the back of the head there. Look at that. This thing is wicked, man. This thing is fucking, man. Man, not how many baits, this thing is wild. They do a good job of making these things fun. How heavy is this? This is not even, I think it's like a half an ounce. Oh, it's an ounce and a half almost. Yeah, it's a bigger bait, heavier bait anyway. There's a smaller version I saw, but I really wanted this big one. Hooks aren't that big. So if you don't feel like you've got some giant hooks out there, it's got a nice little stranded tail. That's cool. It'll last longer. And then, of course, it's got the wings. Basically what this is is a topwater crawler crawling around. You guys seen the Jackal Pompadour. I've been slaying with that these last few seasons. Man, that thing is crazy. And I wanted to try something different. And some of them are just super expensive. But this thing is wicked. I thought I thought, why not? It's not that expensive and it's just going to be super fun to throw. Went with the all black just because it's probably going to be the easiest color to get a strike on because, I mean, black is just a good fat presence for them to look at from down below. So, I thought black was probably going to be the best choice to start with on this bait to see if I could even get a bite uh, out of anything rather than knowing it's just the bird that they're wanting. So that's cool. Man, this thing is going to be fun. Throw this on my Corrado. That's 7-8 Corrado. This thing is going to be wicked. Man. I'll say that again. Man, this thing is wild. There's a lot of different colors. I really liked one with a little red head. That was sweet. <laughs> Let's throw this uh, this season. We're coming up on that, man. The fall, the fall is on the way, and I can't wait. Twenty bucks for the smuggler. Why not? Because just I mean, sometimes it's like maybe may, maybe not. Don't get too many baits. Just get one primo bait and see how you like it. Or if not, you don't just sell it on Facebook Marketplace or something. We got the big M, big mama 2.0. I fish a lot of shallow water, so I wanted to start with the 2.0. Wanted to try a lot more baits this season, big baits anyway, and I started out with this thing. I just, man, look at this. Damn! This thing is, whoa, man, it's just, it's just aching to get on the water, just jumping out at me. <laughs> All right, man, look at this. This is wild gill. It's just a jumbo crank, guys. Man, I watched some videos on it. It's got a wobble that's more like this as opposed to this. I guess it's supposed to make it super easy to retrieve. I'm about to throw it on my Corrado. Man, the same rod I'm going to be throwing this bird on. Man, man, man. Wild gill right here. Look at that. Primo colors, always from Mega Bass. They got a couple different sizes. This is a 2.0. They got a 4.0. And then a 7.5, and that's just how many meters it goes. Like I said, this is 2.0, so it goes, goes about six feet, and it's uh, two ounces, two ounces of beef cake right there, man. Two ounces of muscle. Look at this bait. I'm super fan of the Vitalian. That is an awesome bait. Let's take a peek. Whew, man, man, this Vitalian. This is 
what I have been throwing, but I really wanted to add something else that's just a little more wild. Man, this is more of the swim bay. Now this is like the swim crank. Good lord. Look at that. Look at that belly just like puffing out his chest like that. Man, this is, this is beautiful. If being a hunk is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Oh my god. Number two. Let's throw this baby in your face. Man, check this out. It's like called Gilco or Gilico or something like that. Look at that. Basically a ghost gill. Damn. Look at that too. Man, this is like that wild gill. And good deep clear water. I mean, you just want a little more flash out of it. Get that more summer gill looking. Man. Then we got Gilco. That ghost gill presentation and Listen to this rattle too. It's really deep, and you're gonna get that knocking from back side to side, and it's gonna float. It's a floating base, so you're not gonna have any problems hanging up in the wood. Just let that thing float and just keep on ripping. This thing is gonna be wild. I'm gonna try a lot of different retrieves, straight retrieve, stop and go, then maybe a rip rip, something like that. Maybe you can get it to spin around depending on uh, how you snap it. This is gonna be a wild bait. I actually got one more color here. This is the one I had to go back for. Got to throw it on the Corrado with the DC. Oh man. This is one of their shad patterns. The pictures make it look like there's a lot more blue here, but it, man, this really looks just what I wanted. More of like a deadly black shad look. Even though it's not, it's got that thread fin look. This thing is wicked. It's going to throw a ton of flash. I cannot wait. I had to rig it up first to see if my rod can handle it, and uh, she does. So let's go. Guys, this is wicked. I am so stoked. I'm going to just hang this right here to throw these baits this season. If you guys have thrown the big M, please, please drop a comment. Let me know. Ah, it's coming after me. Let me know what you like about this bait. I am super stoked to throw it. Well, I'm going to fight with this. Thanks for tuning into the video, guys. Give it a like if you enjoyed seeing these big swim baits. I will get more big baits for you guys if that's what you want to see. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.